Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video and today is the follow up to 7 types of Battlefield 1 Sniper with 7 more types of Battlefield 1 Sniper. I know, so clever. The reason there's a follow up is because today's types of Sniper are based on your comments from the previous video. There were several suggestions that popped up multiple times so I figured I'd throw them into a video of their own. But this time let's try not to break the dislike button, yeah? This is all grounded in humour guys, it's not completely serious. So if you haven't seen the original video with my seven types of sniper then go and watch it. I linked to it in the description below it's got some super crispy shots in it and now let's get to your suggested seven types and we'll see which one you are and which ones your friends are. Let me know in the comment section below. We'll start off with the PC sniper. This one came up a lot and well I don't play PC so I have edited some footage to give what I'm sure you'll agree is a near completely accurate representation of PC sniping gameplay. Yo no aim assist there. Mmm, ha, <laughs> go back to console, peasant. No escape from me, I can see you in my dual monitors. Triple monitors, quadruple monitors, I got five billion monitors I can see. I can already feel the hatred. Let's be friends, please. Next we have the historically accurate sniper. This is the player who selects their sniper rifle based on which army they're fighting for in that round. So here you'll see I'm French. I've packed up my baguettes, said goodbye to my mademoiselle, and taken my label into battle. These players focus on dropping themselves right into World War 1 and don't want anything to break that immersion. Except, you know, respawns, and infinite ammo crates, and soldiers who get tired after a 5 second bayonet charge, and spotting icons. Third up is the experimental sniper, and I chose not to highlight this player in my original video as it revolves around using the M1903 experimental, and I didn't consider that to be a sniper rifle as such, but enough people reference it that I couldn't ignore it. So this player chooses to pass on using any of the myriad of extremely lethal weapons on offer, and instead selects a modified rifle that fires pistol ammo, because, you know, sensible. They harness something that is often referenced as being one of the worst weapons in Battlefield 1 and fair play to them for that. They're like the opposite of a Hellregal only player I guess. Next up we come to the useless sniper, and I don't really need to say much here except for this is the sniper that struggles to hit a stationary target from 10 paces away. You could stop, wave, teabag and reorganise your calendar in the time it takes this player to strike you with a sniper round. I was surprised by just how many people said this was them in my original video. So to you guys, practice makes perfect and keep enjoying the game, your time will come. Here's a full sniping guide for you which I'll link to in the description below. <laughs> Shameless self-promotion. Our fifth type of sniper is the counter sniper. This is the player who selects a sniper with the intention of blowing off other snipers heads. This is sometimes due to ego, sometimes due to tactics, and sometimes it's due to a sheer hatred for snipers that they simply wish to take them out and exact revenge. And in doing so, they've become a sniper themselves. It has been said that you either die the hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Our penultimate type of sniper is the Russian Trench Sniper. I didn't expect to see this one mentioned much, but I did, so here it is. Having used the Russian Trench, I was a bit like, eh, why the big deal about this? But then I realised that with aim assist on, you could basically run around going bloop, 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 and suddenly I understood. I guess it gives a somewhat different way of playing Scout, and if you use the Russian Trench without aim assist, then congrats, because that is hard to do. I'll stick to my SMLE marksman though, thanks. And finally, we have the Iron Sight Sniper. Now, in my original video, I did include the Infantry slash Carbine Sniper, but in the interest of humour or comedy, I watered it down to a highlight reel of Martini Henry auto rotation abuse. This seemed to annoy many people who enjoy Iron Sight Sniping without being grouped up with Martini users. So, if we could all keep calm this time, the Iron Sight Sniper often enjoys playing pretty aggressively or testing themselves from range without a scope. They fall into two categories, those that use auto rotation and those that don't. And I want no part in an argument about this this time, so I'm simply going to say use and do what makes you happy in a video game. And with that said, those are seven more types of Battlefield 1 Sniper. So which are you? Let me know in the comment section below. Share this with your friends if you think they're one of the snipers on the list. And also tell me if you think there's another type of sniper that's been missed. Remember to check out the original video which has my picks for the types of snipers in Battlefield 1. There's also a link towards the bottom of the description of this video to support the channel for $4.99 a month. If you like what I do, it will be hugely appreciated in my current situation. And I see exactly who chooses to do such a generous thing. And feel free to like favorite and subscribe. I'm Gitgooka and I'll see you next time. Laters.